All right guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nizar and in this video, I will be showing you exactly what I did to be a full stack developer in six months. I will cover everything I did from what I learned, where I learned things and exactly the lessons that I did so that it could be easier on you. But if you don't know who I am, I'm a self-taught developer and I like to make these videos and help people go from no code to pro code. So if you do wanna be a programmer and start a company like myself or even get a job, um, a subscription would be greatly helpful. It costs you nothing, but it means the world to me. So why not subscribe? It literally costs you nothing. You don't have to pay or anything, but your subscription would really go a long way. And with that being said, um, let's just get right into it. So um, if you want the curriculum, everything will be on the web developer roadmap. I'll make sure to leave everything in the description below just so you have a, a better uh, way of accessing this. But yeah, so the best place to start, in my opinion, is CS50's Introduction to Computer Science. Everyone recommends this. I mean, if you look online on the coding space, this is something that almost every developer recommends. And for good reason, this is the best course out there. This taught me the basics of computer science as well as some higher level concepts that I didn't know were possible. For example, I learned data structures and algorithms. I learned how computers work. I learned how Python, um, JavaScript, C, um, Scratch, HTML, CS, like you, you just cover so much in such little time that this is the perfect place to start. Again, it is a little difficult, but it is beginner friendly and it'll teach you um, how to start programming. It'll teach you where you can program. And uh, this is a perfect place to start if you're a new programmer. So all you gotta do is go to this link and uh, you just gotta press enroll and you're in. It's completely free. I think you have to pay for the certificate, but you don't even need the certificate, so you're okay. So this is free. So this is CS50. The next thing that I did after finishing CS50 was free code camps, JavaScript, algorithms, and data structures. So this is a, this is where things get a little bit more difficult. In CS50, you you were more generalized. You know, you're learning about a bunch of things. Here, you're specifically learning about JavaScript and data structures. If you want to be a software developer, this is the perfect freaking course for you. Not only do you get all this free content with like hundreds of lessons, but you are able to program on the site itself. So you don't even have to worry about like getting a code editor and, and doing all that jazz. Here you can just comment and, and, and write your own code and test out your own code in the actual application. This will take you around like a month or two, but with some effort, you could probably finish this in about a month. But JavaScript and as you will see free code camp will be in a couple of these um, in, in a couple of these lessons But this is just a perfect place to start again It's called JavaScript algorithms and data structures and if you haven't done it already I totally recommend this so once I finished with JavaScript and data structures I got recommended this place called full stack open. It's a, a react tutorial application um, where you uh, just where you learn React and some higher level concepts within React. And if you don't know what React is, it's a uh, framework of JavaScript. So it makes JavaScript a little easier to write and uh, makes programming way easier. And if, again, you've been on this programming, uh, if you've been in the programming space for a while, you've probably heard of React. It's so popular and in my opinion, still one of the best things uh, in the programming space. So you cover things like the fundamentals of how people make web applications, you learn about components, introduction to servers, so you're learning back end as well as front end here, and this will be your first introduction to it, and again, it's perfect. The learning is quite easy, so you just read, and then you do some things within your own uh, console, and it's, it's really hands-on, and I believe this is where you're gonna see the most improvement because of how much effort you're putting in to these courses. Now this is a little bit optional, but Codecademy is another great place to start your programming journey. Um, I don't recommend it if you are doing like JavaScript and algorithms and, and CS50 because this is basically like the other ones. But if you want a different type of approach to programming, um, this is also a great place to start. I, I will say it is, it is a little bit harder because you are, wow, it's paid now. Um, don't do this, Never mind. don't do this. Uh, but again, if you want to do Codecademy, then you can. There's a whole bunch of things like machine learning, Java, um, data science. So uh, another great place to start if you want to pay for something. After I finished JavaScript, CS50, and full stack open, I wanted to learn more about the backend. I wanted to be a full stack developer. So again, back to free code camp. Um, this is just the best place to do it. Now I'm going to show you guys the thing I did, but there is a, 
there is a bunch more things that you can do such as relational database but i did back end development and api certification here i learned about node.js as well as mongodb and express these three things are the things that make the back end with javascript and if you can learn node express and mongodb um you are a full stack developer you're basically a full stack developer. You're connecting front end to back end. You're mixing in data and you're able to make these full stack applications. This will take you around a week or two to learn. It's really easy. You're basically writing in JavaScript, um, but for the back end. And again, it's on free code camp. It's freaking free. You have nothing to lose. Okay. This is free. And I found that this and the JavaScript algorithms and data structures were just perfect for each other. So right now you have been studying for a couple of months now, and hopefully you've started to get the hang of it. At this point, I knew a little bit of everything, you know, when you're new to stuff and you're just trying to get everything. Now it's time to get your hands dirty, go on YouTube. And let's say you want to make a react full stack application, search up something that is within your interests. Okay. So I would like to make a Spotify or let's say Fiverr application, Fiverr full stack application tutorial. Okay. Here there is an application. Look, Fiverr app full tutorial. This right here is a full tutorial, literally showing you how the pros code and allows you to make your own projects. Now, what I recommend when following these projects is firstly, obviously follow them, but try your best to make changes to the code just so you know, like you don't fall into tutorial hell and not just copy. It's good to copy, but as well build on, on top of what we are doing. So search for what you want. There's, there's, a, there's a tutorial on everything. If you want to make like an AI full stack app, you can look it up and there's tutorials on that. Um, there's stuff on tutorials, create just, just a bunch of more things. Okay. So look up what you want and there's going to be something for you right here. Look, you can build a SAS AI companion, build a SAS AI platform. So there's a bunch to choose from. And what I recommend is once you have the hang of some things, maybe you finish the lessons, pick a tutorial that you want to follow in a tech stack that you want. And I promise you, you will see a big growth because you're learning hands on and getting your hands dirty by, by learning and failing and trying again. Now there's two more things I wanted to talk about. Firstly, it's chat GPT. Now there's been some hate on chat GPT because of its, um, you know, it's going to replace developers, but use it to your advantage. I have GPT four, but if you're a new coder, this is the perfect freaking place to start. You can ask it questions. You can get answers from your programming like errors and it speeds up the coding process. So let's say I'm dealing with an error. Okay. Or let's say I want to make an HTML uh, file. I can ask it, make me a boilerplate HTML code. Okay. And right away I'll get code for a boilerplate HTML file. This is amazing technology. And if you're not using it, you're going to re be replaced by people who are using it. So I recommend you at least try to use it in some way because it is a very powerful tool and will speed up again, your coding process and make, just make things way easier. You have answers at your disposal. Why not use it? Finally, what you want to do now is open up your code editor and start coding. You've done some projects, maybe you did a tutorial and then you did another tutorial. Like you've, you've done some things, you have some experience, you're able to do something on your own. Now it's time to actually build on your own. You're going to find it really difficult because you've never built anything on your own, but you have to try. So maybe you want to make a to do app. You do a to do app. What, but what I recommend you do here is um, try to limit how much tutorials you're using and just try to do your best without following a tutorial. Obviously you might have to, and you might want to follow like a stack overflow and fix some errors. That's totally fine but try your best to avoid like an exact tutorial because this is where you're going to learn the most. For me, I made a to do app and a time clock. So get creative. It's it's a fun time because you're just super creative and it's a time to uh, learn on your own. This is currently my uh, SaaS application that I just finished actually. And it's a mentor AI platform where you can get advice from like your favorite mentors right here. You have like Play-Doh, you can ask him questions. You have like Joe Rogan. I'm going to add some more. But this is like fully integrated with like um, Stripe so I can get paid. So it's really cool. And the main idea for you is to get to this level. I'm nowhere near my, my level either. Like I'm not the best. 
but I am improving and I've seen how much I've grown in just a couple of months. And if you follow this exact steps of, you know, following from CS50, JavaScript, and you really just be patient in like six to eight months, you're going to be in this position as well. And again, I'm not perfect. In fact, I still think I suck, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. Okay. I'm, I'm understanding some things and, and I'm really trying my best to, to improve as well. So why can't you, right? Again, guys, everything here is on the site. So I'll leave the site in the description below. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nazar and I'll see you in the next video.